Uh, this year, what I'm uh, focusing on is working with the uh, KHRDG group, which is the Ganolga Human Resources Development Group. Uh, we work with uh, Mizakta, uh Community Services, uh, Social Assistance. Uh, and uh, what we try to do is try to promote our services of uh, post-secondary education uh, with other clientele, with other uh, service areas. So uh, we meet uh, once a month and uh, we share information on programs, funding, uh, and opportunities for clients, is, uh, for clients uh, in, in every uh, location. The main initiative that I've been working on, apart from my regular post-secondary duties, um, is coordinating the Bachelor of Education program that we have in community in conjunction with McGill University. Um, so those students are in their in their fourth and final year. So they have this fall term, which they're currently in right now, winter term and then spring summer term, and then they'll be complete. There are about 35 students in that program. Um, so this time next fall, we'll have 35, well, there will be a cohort of um, certified teachers with their Bachelor of Education. So I also have um, a few initiatives that I work on in conjunction with KSS. Um, so those are directly related to high school success and um, high school to siege up transitioning success. Um, so we do offer an after school French program um, for senior students who would like to brush up on their French um, in preparation for attending CGEP uh, once they complete high school. So we offer that in conjunction with Dawson College. Um, and so the main one, we have a Dawson French teacher who comes once a week, um, I believe it's on Wednesdays, um, and they have like an after school program. Um, she coordinates it with Mark Polson, who is the French department head at KSS. Um, and the funding for that comes from the education partnerships program, which I coordinate as well. Um, there's a few other initiatives there, um, such as uh, my work with Echo Hamlin, who is the guidance counselor at KSS. Um, so we do have funding to carry out certain um, initiatives like um, student for a day trips to CGEPs and vocational schools. Uh, we also work a lot with Emily Rice at Dodoni Yakta, um, who is the youth engagement um, and workforce development counselor. Um, so what a lot of what we do is we help the grade 11s um, find pathway, you know, that they'd like to pursue after high school, whether it's seizure or vocational. So those are my, my main initiatives. The main project that uh, I work with in post-secondary is the uh, summer student uh, funding program. Our, ourselves and the uh, Zakta partner together to run the summer student, so the summer student experience. Uh, that's where um, we provide funding for local employers and organizations uh, to come together so that they can hire students uh, that are looking to uh, enter the work field in a particular area, use their uh, existing skill set, and expanding their their, their skill set uh, through uh, work with uh, local employers and organizations to apply uh, their learning basically. I would like to encourage students to check out our Facebook page um, which is Ganawage Post Sec and that's where we post a lot of job opportunities, um, scholarship opportunities, uh, as well as different things that our students are doing. So we have a few student athletes, we promote, um, you know, their games. Uh, we have a few students, like some, we recently had a student who developed um, a course. Um, so we promoted that. Some, when students are guest speakers um, at various events, we promote it on the post-secondary page. So that's, that's the place to look for, um, you know, reminders, deadlines, upcoming opportunities, and just what's happening within post-secondary.